Now for a double interlocking continuous, we're not going to use silk because silk is braided and is, has too much resistance and it'll get locked out and cause a floating knot with a double twist. But here we have a nylon sample suture. We'll throw our first simple interrupted, just like the other two techniques. See how the nylon monofilament allows you to cinch a little bit easier. It's more slippery, so it doesn't lock itself out. Okay, we'll cut that tail, and we'll do just like we did on the other two examples, and we'll move forward with three to four millimeter bites, three to four millimeters apart. not twisted already. So here I have an open loop. I had an open loop. I have an open loop here. And I'm going to twist it once and twice. So the double interlocking. And I'll pass it to myself. And as we cinch, get close and grab it. We rock it across the incision and lock it to the buckle. The knot, because of the double interlocking, holds a little bit tighter. Really useful with PTFE sutures or nylon or something to this effect. It allows you for it to kind of cinch nice and snug. So another time, the knot, the loop is left long. We twist it once, twice. Pass it to ourselves. As it gets close, we grab it, rock it, and lock it. And we'll do a couple more throws, the same thing. Twice, pass it through, tighten it down, rock it, and lock it into place. We'll do one more and tie it off. And we'll leave the loop long enough for a tail, and we'll tie it off the other two. And that's a double interlocking continuous. Go ahead and cut our three tails. So we have a simple continuous interlocking continuous and a double interlocking continuous.